Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back here at the range. I'm here with Mac, my boyfriend. And you guys liked our last video so much where we talked about basic marksmanship that we're back here now and we're gonna talk a little bit more about self-defense shooting and show you some drills you guys can practice. And Mac's gonna explain some of it because we're primarily self-defense shooters. So while it's nice to know how to be a good marksman, it's more important to know how to be a self-defense shooter. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. So, Stav and I were discussing you know, some basic skills people need if they're gonna carry firearms on their body for self-defense. And most people, I think, train what we did last time, which is marksmanship. I know people that have trained their whole life doing nothing but marksmanship training. But the reality is, if you're gonna have to shoot someone, and I say have to, because you've exhausted all your every other option, you have to shoot them, well, you wanna stop them. If we're gonna stop them with a pistol, we probably have to shoot them multiple times. Not once, not twice, maybe three times, maybe four times. We need them to stop in a very short period of time. And all we're doing is drilling holes in them. When our bullets pass into them, it's just a hole. Just That's it, that's all. There's nothing magic about how bullets work. They drill holes. Pistol bullets just drill holes. Whether it's a standard bullet, a full metal jacket, drills a small hole, hollow point, drills a larger hole. Doesn't matter, we're just drilling holes. So we have to possibly drill multiple holes to drop that blood pressure to make that person lose their will to fight, lose their capability to stay conscious, possibly drop the amount of oxygen that's in their blood, maybe hit them in the central nervous system and stop them right away. But we wanna stop them short period of time and that generally requires hitting them multiple times. So the drill I'm gonna show you is basically how to achieve accuracy and speed together and making sure that all your shots are still going to be very close or hit the target. So the way I was taught this years ago is it's called a rhythm fire drill. Basically, everything's kind of in a rhythm, your heartbeat, you know, your breathing, like there's a kind of a rhythm to the world. And your rhythm when you're shooting is more or less your relationship with the gun. You have a rhythm all your own and the gun has a rhythm. When it fires, it moves, it does things. It has a rhythm to its recoil, how it moves. And you have the shoot you as the shooter have to basically work with that gun to get it back on target as fast as possible and shoot again. And we need to do this in, in, in a harmony with accuracy, meaning if you're just shooting as fast as you possibly can and you're not hitting anything, that's not helpful. So we need to be able to hit what we're aiming at and the rhythm fire drill is basically to teach you how to hit what you're aiming at as fast as you can. All right, so I'm gonna use a Glock on this particular drill just to demo it. I, when I shoot it live, I shoot it with my primary carry gun, with, which is a Smith & Wesson Shield 4-inch. Stav also carries a Smith & Wesson Shield, but she runs the 3-inch. But the Glock allows you to hear what I'm doing with my finger here, so you can hear the reset. So I have an empty firearm, and I'm now on target. Now, the way this works is when you pull a trigger on, like say a semi-automatic, I pull the trigger back, pull, 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 pull bang, the gun goes off, right? Now I'm gonna use this hand, take my hand off the gun to demonstrate that. You can see my finger is depressing the trigger. The slide comes back all the way. And when it hits its full point, when it goes as far back as it possibly can, that's when you get that muzzle flip, that rise and recoil. The gun's recoiling before the slide stops, but it's not recoiling as much until the slide stops abruptly and then that gun rises up. Now while your finger is still on the trigger and while you're holding the gun, the slide will go forward reloading your next round. So it'll look like that then you as the shooter have to now steer the gun back on target, re reset the trigger, and then fire the weapon again. So what it looks like in slow motion is I'm gonna steer the gun back on target while I'm resetting the trigger. I'll let you listen to it. There it goes. Now when the gun gets back on target, boom, I shoot again. Slide comes to the rear, I get recoil. Slide goes forward, I push and reset. Boom. Boom, and the idea is, stay on the gun for me. The idea is that if you can do this well and you can learn this relationship, the gun almost never stops. It's in constant motion. So it's bang and it goes in recoil, it re ejects the round, loads a new round, it comes back on. And the second those sights line up, bang, it shoots again. And bang, it shoots again. And bang, it shoots again. And bang, it shoots again. Almost like a sewing machine going up and down. The gun should never be fully stagnant, 
for a relatively close range rhythm fire drill because you're wasting time. If you kind of, if you go back on the gun, if you kind of, what a lot of people do is they go bang and they fight their gun and they push their gun back on target so hard they lose their front sight. And then they're like, oh, where'd my front sight go? Oh, there it is, bang. And they, they fight their gun. They're not, they're not in harmony with their gun. They're trying to muscle the gun. They're not in harmony. What you want is to control the gun just enough so that the second that front sight drops back down, boom, you can shoot again. So the way that I teach this drill is basically to separate your shooting into two steps. The shot goes off and you stop the recoil. Then step two is you push the gun back on target and shoot. Now this is kind of difficult to do in slow fire. What this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be just a smooth way of shooting. It's supposed to be a very fluid way of shooting. But to learn it, you kind of have to break it in half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire one round at a time Real slow. I'm going to talk my way through it, and I'm and I want you to watch the gun primarily, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to shoot. And there's my shot. Now there, I'm in full recoil right there. That's as much as the gun moves. Now my finger is still depressed. I still am on the trigger. The trigger has not come up, so I'm still right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push, 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 push and I shoot again. So the gun never really stopped moving. So I'm still, I'm in re reset, right? I got my, tri my trigger finger still pressed to the rear. I'm in recoil. So as I'm pushing the gun down back to acquire my sight picture, I'm releasing that trigger until it resets. And I'm not looking to shoot perfect here. This is not a one hole drill. I'm just looking to get my sights in the, in the neighborhood basically and then press that next round because this is actually a speed firing drill. So I'm in recoil and it's press, 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 press. Push, 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 shoot again. And it's push, 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 and shoot again. Alright. Alright. So now that's doing it slow. And that's hard to do, and I don't recommend you really even do that. That's just so you can see what, what I'm doing when I go faster. So now I'm gonna go slightly faster. It's still gonna be slow, but watch the gun. I'm also focused keenly on my front sight the whole time. Right, we will talk a lot, hopefully Stav will let me talk to you guys a lot, mm -hmm. about point shooting and instinctive shooting later because I'm a big fan of not using sights at all for close range stuff and just knowing how to do that. But right now, I'm going to be focused on that front sight keenly. I'm going to watch that front sight rise and as that front sight is coming back down in between my, two, in between my rear sight, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just pressing that trigger again, making it go back. So here we go. This will be just a relatively slow Rhythm fire drill, but it's just. Okay. So now what we could do is we can now up the game just a little bit more. I'm going to shoot just a little bit faster again, but I'm watching my sights the whole time. So it's going to look. Okay. So what we have here is if you can kind of go on the target. I threw one a little bit to the left. But I'm just, I'm just keeping them all in this ballpark. I'm stringing a little bit. All that is fine. It's, you're not looking for perfection here. What you're looking for is hits. We're going to start back to about the 10 yard line and do this drill again so you can see how your distance might affect your cadence or your rhythm. All right, guys, we're back at the 10 yard line. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot a rhythm fire drill. I'll shoot a bunch of them actually to just kind of demonstrate how you can shoot fast but still hit the target each time. Now, every one of these shots is a sighted shot. It's just not a perfect sighted shot. I'm just allowing my sights to settle towards the middle of the target. I'm just firing my gun in a smooth rhythm fire, just trying to keep all my hits in there, all right? Here we go, we'll do this a couple times. I'm gonna present them at the 10 yard line. Here we go. Let's try that again. Here we go. One more time, just to just to kind of get this down. All right. So again, I'm not shooting perfect, but I'm just keeping them in the target. I'm shooting smooth and just keeping all my hits in the target. Let's check it out. Great shooting. Now I'm at the 20 yard line. We just doubled it from the last one. And I'm gonna shoot at that steel target, if you can see that down there. I'm hoping that this camera can pick up the, the noise. So hopefully we can do that. It's not a perfectly clean target. I didn't bring any paint today, I apologize. But 
hopefully you'll just be able to pick up the noise. Again, this is rhythm fire, so it's not perfect. As, as my sights are on the target, in, anywhere on the target, I'm pressing the trigger, controlling the gun, pushing it back, and firing again. So this is a 20 yard rhythm fire drill, and I'm hopefully gonna go five for five on this, I will see. Here we go. That was all five, try that again. Here we go. Good. Let me try to make myself go a little bit faster here and keep all five on steel at 20. Good job. And I kept those all off. <laughs> so basically the reason why I keep going back is to show you that it's an accuracy drill on top. I'm not just spraying and praying. At 20 yards, I'm hitting every time. And once you kind of figure out the rhythm of the gun, the rhythm of your hands, releasing the trigger to reset. You could step back, we could probably do this at 50, and you know we'll probably have staff do it, or maybe we'll both do it together at 50. But we'll step back, and as long as you're not rushing the shot, you're, every shot is a, a sighted shot, then you can continue to move back. You could shoot it at long distances and still hit over and over and over again with speed and accuracy. So now that Mac explained a rhythm fire drill and you guys know how to do it, we're gonna show you how to incorporate it into your self-defense training by drawing the gun, moving, taking steps left and right or to the side, and engaging the target. Also, the holster I'm using today is my thigh holster by Can Can Concealment. I'm wearing shorts, just because I wanted to show it to you guys. And I want to say that if you carry in something like this, then you definitely need to train with it. And if you're gonna be taking a class, I recommend using the holster that you're actually gonna be carrying in. And sometimes it's a good idea to inform the instructor ahead of time, especially if it's something like this, just to make sure there's no safety hazards with the other students that you're gonna be shooting with. Ready? Three rounds. Stop. Five rounds. Stop. Stepping right. Four rounds. Ready? Four. Stop. Stepping left. Five rounds. Stepping left. Five rounds. Ready? Four. Stepping right, three rounds. Stepping right, three rounds. Ready, fire. Stop. Stepping left, run it till it's empty. Stepping left, run it till it's empty. Ready, fire. Stop. So here we are with Stav at the 15 yard line, just practicing some rhythm fire drills. Okay, ready? Ready. She missed that last one, but that's still a pretty good drill. Pretty good drill. Okay, now we're gonna have Mac do it. Ready? Ready. Go. Stop! Ooh, smoked him, all 10. Once you get comfortable with the rhythm fire drill, and remember the rhythm fire drill is actually sighted fire you're just stringing your shots together smooth and quickly. This is called a hammer drill and it's generally only used at close range. And again, we're trying to stop a bad guy from killing us or stop a bad guy from killing someone else. So we might have to hit him real quick, multiple times. So a hammer drill is essentially when I come out on target, I put my sights on the target or I point my gun towards the target. I align my gun with the target however you want to suggest that to happen. A lot of the theories on that. 
but once I decide to shoot, I fire two rounds as fast as I possibly can. The second shot is kind of a prayer. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not a sighted shot. The reason why it works is because if you've practiced rhythm fire, if you've practiced shooting with any reasonable speed, what you've done is you've trained your hands, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, your shoulders, your, your whole, you've trained your entire body to understand how to shoot accurately and quickly. So when you speed it up so fast that your eyes can't even pick up on the sights, your hands and your body still know what their job is if you've done this enough and you can still be very accurate. Now don't do this right out of the gate. Make sure you practice rhythm fire a bunch, but a hammer drill is basically two shots. So the best way I, the best way I think to train this is you, you, you get your students or you guys practice to come out on target, point the gun towards the target, take your time, make sure the gun's on target, don't be in a rush out of the holster. The only time you're in a rush is from your first shot to your second shot. That's the rush. It's not the draw, it's not the step, it's not the yelling at the target, it's not the aligning the sights. You can do that nice and slow. But when you decide to shoot, it's a bop, two shots real quick. All right, so I'm gonna take my time, come out, put on the center target. All right, check that out. Great. So let's do it again. So it would look like this if I, was, if I was training and practicing. Nice and smooth and slow. Stepping left, hammer drill, ready, fire. Up, nice and smooth on target. Then there we go. Stepping right, stepping right. Hammer drill. Ready? Fire. Stop. Stepping left. Hammer drill. Ready? Fire. Stop. All right. So now, that's at about three, three and a half yards. Let's step back to about seven yards, do the same drill, and watch how our groups open up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do the same drill, we're just at the seven yard line. I'm gonna do the same things exactly, same target, seven yard line. Here we go, stepping right. Ready, five, stop! Stepping left, ready, five, stop! Stepping right. Ready? Fire. Stepping left. Ready? Fire. So what you're going to see is I'm still in there. I didn't miss the bad guy, but my groups are opening up. These are probably all my second shots because the second shot is not a fired shot. You're following up your first shot with your second shot. But if you practice it, you can still be in excess of 20 feet, seven yards, 21 feet. And you can still hit the target very quickly. And then if I go back further, let's say I go back to 10 yards, we might have misses now. For hammer drills, for me, with this gun, with my concealed carry gun, seven yards is about where I'd go. After that, I'm going straight rhythm fire. Make sure you know what the rules are at your range. Some ranges don't allow movement, some ranges don't allow you to draw from a holster, so just make sure you know what's allowed at your specific range that you'll be shooting at. But it's important to know the difference between just shooting for fun like target shooting and actual self-defense training because the two are so totally different. It's important to know what a real gunfight might look like. There's gonna be movement, it might be dark, you're not gonna be standing still, you're gonna be under a lot of stress. So it's important to train for these types of things and not just target shoot if you're gonna be carrying a gun. And so the drills in this video are really an introduction into self-defense shooting. And we're gonna be doing more in the future. Hopefully you guys like these kinds of videos so that we can put out more in the future. And please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out and helps us be able to make these videos for you guys. So I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Bye.